I, I don't know, there's this girl. No, wait, too early, never mind. We'll, we'll get back to that. There comes a time in life when you feel hopelessly outgunned, outmanned, outmaneuvered, outwitted, and hopelessly outdone, and there's nothing you can do to change it. Even something as simple and barren as the staircase becomes an impossible adversary. So things just seem kind of bleak for a while. You see, there was this dark time when I wanted God to suck my soul out of my body with a straw, and that wasn't all that pleasant. I was falling down a, a lot. It was a cycle. It was repetitive, and honestly, it kind of sucked. To put things simply, love, like falling from an incredibly tall building, comes with a sudden rush of exhilaration and then splat. So it took some time to scrape myself off the ground. I also kept finding myself in hopelessly precarious entanglements that I could neither explain nor justify. But in retrospect, I sort of can't stop laughing about some of them. It was so hopeless, it was delightful. But then there was a time, a glorious time, when I started climbing again, or at least thinking about climbing again. You know, carpe diem and all that shit. I felt like myself again, right up in the clouds, making a grand spectacle of myself, free of bondage, foreboding and self-doubt. I was here, there and everywhere. I was alive, and it was beautiful. Then I saw this girl, and then I saw this tree, and I was like, you and me should totally climb this tree. And we totally did that. And it could have lasted forever, and I wouldn't have made any objections unless the tree caught fire or something. She was someone definitely worth sharing an adventure with, and many more to come. Regardless, something simply stupendous had happened that day. I'd come to terms with myself. It seemed like a never-ending personal kerfuffle, but in the end, I could make amends, and even met someone who would go on with me to be my partner in crime. But that could only happen when I was okay with just being me. I can't change the way I'm wired. My body exudes confidence and shits bricks. The highs are magnificent and the lows are mad unpleasant. Absolutely no middle ground at all. It isn't the easiest way to live, but one thing for certain, I'm living at every single degree. Just remember that just because you've fallen down some stairs doesn't mean you're short of anything brilliant. Beautiful people fall down stairs. Everyone has a rough landing or two. The way they pick themselves up is a projection of their character. Even after a trying endeavor, those wayward souls, left to their own devices, will make their own way toward the light.